Go Diego Go, a home for Hernando. Hola, said Diego. I'm gathering sticks to help the river otters build a home. Just then he heard a cry. Oh, you dumb me. Help! That sounds like an animal in trouble, said Diego. I can use my special camera click to find out who it is. Click the camera quickly found the animal who was calling out. Oh no, it's my friend Hernando the Hermit Crab, Diego exclaimed. He looks like he needs help. Al rescate, to the rescue. Fast, activate, yelled Diego. Diego's friend Rescue Pack popped up. Diego needs something that will help him get to the beach fast, he said. Should he use a hammer to get to the beach? No. Should he use ice skates to get to the beach? <laughs> no, that's silly. Should he use a doom buggy to get to the beach? See. Si. Quick as a wink, Rescue Pack turned into a doom buggy and drove Diego down to the beach. Hernando the Harbor Crab was waiting. Diego, I need your help, he cried. I've grown so much that my shell is too tight. I need a new home. I better check my field journal, Diego said. He flipped open the field journal and read aloud. Lamb hermit crabs aren't born with shells. Instead, they move into shells that they find. As they grow, they need bigger shells to move into. Diego closed his field journal. Hernando, we need to find you a bigger shell, he exclaimed. Diego and Hernando set off in search for a new shell, but they had only gone a little way when Hernando spotted a big bird flying overhead. Oh no, he gulped, an egret. I'm scared of egrets. I have to hide, said Hernando. Quickly, he began to dig in the sand. Good idea, Hernando, Diego exclaimed. Hermit crabs can dig holes to hide in. Let's help. Excava, excava. Dig, dig, dig. Soon Hernando had dug a perfect little hole. He scuttled inside and hit as the egret flew past. Great hiding, Hernando, Diego cheered. That egret didn't even see you. Whew, Hernando gasped. All that running and digging made me hungry. Diego scanned his field journal. It looks like there are lots of things you can eat on this beach, he pointed out. Do you see them? I feel stronger already, Hernando exclaimed as he had eaten the last piece of seaweed. Thanks for helping me find a snack, Diego. Just then, Diego spotted a trail of tiny shells. Maybe these little shells will lead us to bigger shells, said Diego. Let's follow the trail. More shells, shouted Diego. Diego and Hernando followed the path to a huge mound of shells. Look, Diego exclaimed. It's the Bobo brothers. Those silly monkeys took all the shells. Freeze, Bobos. We only wanted to use the shells to decorate our sandcastle, the Bobos explained. Hernando needs a new shell to live in, Diego told the Bobos. We couldn't find one because you collected all the shells on the beach. Oops, sorry, said the Bobos. We'll share our shells with Hernando. Now I can choose a new shell, said Hernando. He looked and looked until he found one that was not too big and not too small. Hernando chose a shell with his claws. It's nice and clean, and there's nobody else living in it. It's perfect, he exclaimed. Hernando slipped out of his old tight shell and into a new one. This feels just right, he said. Thanks for your help, Diego. I couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome, Hernando, said Diego. Mission completa. Rescue complete. Thanks for reading with us today, guys, on Kids Dream Toys. This is a home for Hernando. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Kids Dream Toys.